everybody and welcome back to the DualSense Gaming Podcast, a podcast all about the PlayStation 5, really just a news podcast for the PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2, though today there is no PSVR 2 games. I'm going to start with the games I've been playing and then lead into the news, smaller news, um, new game announcements, release dates, and all the games that came out this week. So first, before we start anything, I do this podcast for my YouTube channel, Saint X Elijah. So check me out on YouTube and follow me on twitch.tv slash Saint X Elijah YT. Let's get started with the games I've been playing. Actually, not as many this week. I've narrowed down my games quite a bit. Games I've been playing, Tim Tim. Uh, This is the first game, Tim Tim. Obviously, I'm playing Tim Tim every week for my YouTube, as you guys probably know. By the way, my name's Elijah. I totally forgot to give my name, uh, but it's Elijah. So, Tim Tim is like Pokemon it's an MMO like Pokemon and I've gotten pretty far and I was really enjoying it but now it's like it's so awkward like it some parts I really really like and then other parts are really really bad and I'm at one of those bad parts where the waypoints don't tell you where to go unless you're in that exact area that exact map so I don't know why they don't lead you to that area because I'm, I have to Google everything. I have to Google every little thing in order to figure out what I'm supposed to do and where I'm supposed to go because there's no waypoints that tell you what map you need to be on. There's no indicators or anything. It just tells you go to this area and if you're not in that map where the area is, you just don't know where you're supposed to go. I know the game's in early access, but I feel like this should be fixed. This is an easy thing, and they just put out an update, so I don't know why they wouldn't add waypoints to tell you, go to this map, go to this area, so I wouldn't have to Google everything, because it's so annoying. It would be fine if I wasn't doing the videos on YouTube, but I'm doing it on YouTube, so... Every time I need to progress, I got to Google what I got to do, and that stops the video. And it's just super frustrating that I have to do that. But that's Tim Tim. That's how I feel about it right now. I still suggest the game, but I don't think it's as good as I originally was hoping it would be. And I think it could be better than Pokemon, and maybe at full release it will be better than Pokemon. But right now, there's just so many problems, and I guess it's because it's early access, but it's just kind of frustrating. Frustrating is definitely the word I would use to describe Tim Tim. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Depends where you are in the game, and I'm definitely not in a good spot in the game right now. Next thing on my list is Sackboy. I actually platinum Sackboy, but I'm still playing it. I have a friend on PS5 that I met through Sackboy, and we've been playing tons of Sackboy. I love the trials. You have to... The final trial in the game, which the trials, the trials I like time trials. So the final one, you have to do all of the other ones, like all the other 16 trials or something like that in a row without dying and you got to do it in under 10 minutes so you got to be kind of fast though it's pretty lenient on that it's more about not dying and i really like that and i did it myself and i had a co-op partner do it for me and it was a lot of fun and i definitely suggest sack boy i still think it's probably the best game on the console I'm trying, well, Astro Bot is the best game on the console, but other than that, I think it's Sackboy, if I'm being honest with you. I'm really hoping Returnal takes that spot. I don't know if it will, though. And then uh, I think Ratchet, 100%. Unless it somehow isn't good, which I just can't imagine a world where Ratchet isn't good, but... I assume Ratchet's going to be the number one must-have PS5 title, for sure. I can't even imagine it not being. 
Then next, I've been playing Bloodborne. This is a PS4 game. This is free on PS5 with the PS Plus collection. So that's cool. But uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this. I definitely like it more than Demon's Souls. And I think this game is so much better than Demon's Souls. I don't think Demon's Souls is a very good game. But Bloodborne is fantastic. And I love it. Final game I've been playing. This one just came out enlisted. This is a free to play squad shooter and I think it's terrible. I tried it. It's like World War II setting and it's on the it's just really bad. The con it controls poorly and then uh, you finally get in a game and Oh my god, you just keep getting sniped over and over. I couldn't even move. Maybe I had a bad experience with the game, but it's like, this shouldn't be happening. <laughs> so I just gave up on that after one match. I thought it was not very good. I also couldn't tell who was a real person and who were computers because it had a mix of both. But uh, everyone just seemed like a, a computer to me and like no one was acting human nobody wanted to talk to me or even look at me they just ran straight forward and they died but maybe that's just the game i was in those are the only games i played this week i've been playing a few ps4 games like rayman and binding of isaac and super meat boy and stuff just to try some stuff out but that's only because the ps5 updated and i got my ps4 storage device on my ps5 now so i have all my ps4 games again so i've been just playing bits and pieces of them and now i just need to figure out how i can get my god of war save file onto the ps5 because for some reason it won't let me but i'm gonna try again and hopefully i can because i want to platinum that game and I also want to platinum The Last of Us. Uh, there's just so much I want to do, but don't. It's just never going to happen. Okay, let's hop into the news. The news. Hold on one second. Okay, Days Gone 2 would have had a shared online universe with co op. So I said this the other week, maybe last week, that. Days Gone 1 should have been a co-op game, so it's cool that Days Gone 2 was going to be, and they even said that Days Gone 1 was supposed to be, but they didn't have enough time to do it. But I I don't know. Days Gone 2, I would love to see this game with co-op, but Sony, they didn't want a sequel, and, you know, what? it's whatever to me. I don't think the game's good enough to really deserve a um an automatic sequel i think they would have had to fight for it and i guess sony doesn't want to fight about it because days going 2 is not happening and i'm okay with it honestly i liked the first game i thought it was okay but i think it should have been co-op i don't i think they should have focused co-op on that game because we already have 5,000 zombie games, and the best ones are usually co-op, with The Last of Us being the exception, obviously. But uh, there are good single-player ones, but it's like, I don't know, zombies are meant to be, uh, you know, zombies are just easy for co-op, for a co-op setting, I think, and uh, I think that game was an easy co-op setting and i guess it was limitations that didn't allow them to put co-op in it but i feel like they should have sacrificed something else maybe not make the game so big because it was that game was way too big but uh that's just my opinion i guess next up the ps5 controllers haptic feedback improved in ps4 games the controller replicates the feeling of the DualShock 4's motors, making it feel more like the same vibration on a PS4 game. So uh, the way it can like vibrate all over the controller, now when you're playing PS4, it'll vibrate in only the places where a PS4 controller would vibrate when playing PS4 games that don't support the full haptic feedback of the the DualSense controller. 
So that's cool, I guess. Better uh, feel for the uh, DualShock 4 games. So you feel more like you're getting that full rumble effect as it was designed for. And the uh, Push Square said they tried Rocket League and they could easily tell in Rocket League. So uh, test it out on Rocket League if you're looking for a game to try it on. Next up, the PlayStation Phone app will get more features in the future. So this is what Push Square had to say. It's going to add managing your console storage from the device without even having to boot the system up. Join a multiplayer session on PS5 from the app. Compare trophy lists with your friends. And sort and filter products on the PS Store. I don't know why we need to join multiplayer sessions on the app. I feel like... Isn't that easy enough to do on the PlayStation? <laughs> And also, I don't know why we really need to manage our console storage from the app, but I guess, you know, why not, I guess, is what I should be thinking. Not why, but why not? So those, I don't really care about any of those features. Maybe compare trophy lists. I didn't know that wasn't already on the app. I feel like that should have been, but uh, that's the only really... I mean, you can filter products on the PS Store, but I've never seen... A good way to filter on the PS Store so I don't know if this will be the first one or if it's just gonna be some BS next up PS5 firmware update adds external storage support for PS5 games social features and more and this update is out right now if you haven't downloaded it's very cool lots of stuff tons of stuff I'm gonna list off this stuff here Store PS5 games on compatible external USB drives. Uh, every drive that worked on the PS4 should work on the PS5. So if you had one on the PS4, just plug it into the PS5 and you'll have all your games, which is awesome. Just not my save files. Where are my save files? I don't know why I'm having trouble getting my save files over. But now it's definitely a necessity when before I was just playing PS5 games, now I need those save files. So I gotta figure that out. Next thing, cross-generation share play. Thank God this one has been missing since launch, obviously. And I noticed it right away because I used to use share play all the time and now I'm not able to do it. Share play on PS5 is awesome, by the way. I finally tried it. And you can share your screen and they can share their screen at the same time and you can put it in the corner and you can play your game while watching them and it's just like this is next generation this is what I want to see from next gen share play so I'm super excited about the future of share play and it's good that we have cross gen to share play now next thing request to join game session Okay, improved game base, disable game chat, or adjust players volumes. I haven't tried this yet. I don't really know what it's talking about there. Game update, pre-download, customize and search game library, uh, screen zoom, the updates to screen zoom, new trophy settings and stats. Now when you're looking at uh, hidden trophies, you can just push square and it shows you what the hidden trophy is instead of having to push options and then show trophy info, which I really am appreciative of that, though I think trophies are still really far behind even compared to PS4. Next thing, uh, these are some hidden features that were also in the update. Manage your downloads from the control center. Uh, hidden trophy information is a click away. I already mentioned that. You can manage the games you follow. I unfollowed every game. <laughs> Activity cards for trophies take you to the trophy list. There's a new icon for games on external HD. Obviously, I don't know why they would even include that. Automatically enable 120HZ in select games. You can disable HDR when not supported. Syncing save data is more straightforward. Oh. Maybe uh, maybe I need to look into that one. You can adjust HDMI device link to your taste. There are toggles for trophy screenshots. Now you can turn off like bronze trophy screenshots. Honestly, I should turn them all off because who am I sharing my 
trophy screenshots with. New text specifies your status on PS5. Uh, now it says under your name is playing on PS5 instead of just a PS5 icon. You can hide games from your library. You push options, you hit hide, and then you can view hidden games. I don't really know why. I guess if there's a game that you don't like, you can stop looking at it. And that's all the big news I really have for this week. It is a big week. There's some smaller news and a lot of new game announcements, but uh, I'm pretty excited about the update. I think PS5 needed an update, and I think this added the storage device thing was a necessity. So that's like the most exciting thing in this update. Uh, and then some trophy updates that matters to me a lot and the share play thing would be those would be my big improvements that I appreciate though we still need a lot more stuff especially when it comes to trophies I think the trophy base is just terrible and the console is really bad okay let's go to smaller news Tim Tim adds sip Sepanku Island activity card supports and big update on PS5. Uh, I was gonna write everything Sepanku has, but I couldn't really find a full list. But I know it adds over 20 new Tim Tim, a whole new location, um, just a, a bunch of stuff like a whole story in that location, all that stuff and uh, obviously balance changes and whatnot so that's cool big update on tim tim the first one since the game's been out on ps5 i believe so this is part one of the sepanku update so i assume the next part won't take as long since now they have sepanku out they just need to add more whatever they're gonna add Next thing, Resident Evil Village Demo, uh, early access for PS5 and PS4 players. Now, I think one of these already went up. Uh, yeah, on the 17th, one of these went up 5 p.m. PDT on the 17th of April until 1 a.m. PDT on the 18th of April. And then 8 p.m. EDT, yeah, so this one already happened. The second piece of the Resident Evil Village demo takes place in the castle area. You will have the you will have 30 minutes to play during the following time slots across the evening of 24th of April, 5 p.m. PDT on 24th April until 1 a.m. PDT, 8 p.m. EDT on 24th April until 1 a.m. EDT. Are these the same times? Why is it giving me both? Because I got this. I believe I got this directly off their website. Finally, these two pieces of the Resident Evil Village demo come together to form a full 60 minute demo one week later. They will still feature the same content but can be played back to back. So this is really the one you need to watch out for. And this one's going to be 5 p.m. at PDT on 1st of April until 12 a.m. on the 7th of May. So the, the 1st of May, I said April. And then 8 p.m. EDT on 1st of May until 12 a.m. EDT on 7th of May. So this is the one you need to watch out for because you actually have a week instead of just a few hours to play. So that's probably when I'll play them because I don't like being constricted so much. But that's all the small news I have. Not much small news. No PSVR 2 news. No updates. No new PSVR 2 games that I could find coming out this week, so we don't have to worry about that. New game announcements, there are quite a few new game announcements here. I'm gonna read the game. If I saw it has a release date and um, a little description of the game. WRC 10 comes to PS5 and PS4 on September 2nd, hailed by reviewers and professional drivers. The standard setting off road racing simulation has been reinvented, reach the 2021 season podium and to celebrate the 50th, the 50th anniversary of the competition, relive the highlights at the Wheel of Legendary Cars. So it's another racing game if you're into that. 
Next up, Call of the Sea comes to PS5 and PS4 next month. Call of the Sea is an otherworldly tale of mystery and love set in the 1930s South Pacific. Explore a lush island paradise, solve puzzles, and unlock secrets in the hunt for your husband's missing expedition. This is a walking simulator. I'm so tired of these walking simulators, man. But I guess people are enjoying them because there's so many coming out. Next, Ali Ali World it comes to PS5, PS4 this winter. Ali Ali World is a bold new skateboarding action platformer that bursts with personality, flip and flow through the vivid and vibrant world of Radland, meeting colorful characters as you grind, trick and air your way to discover the mystical skate gods on your quest for Nirvana. This game sounded really cool, and I thought it was going to be like an open world. Uh, skateboarding game but it's just a 2d platformer skateboarding game so i was a little disappointed but with the name Ali Ali world i don't know i just thought it was gonna be like a like a full 3d thing but it's just a 2d game next up aztec forgotten gods comes to ps5 and ps4 this year aztec forgotten gods the cyberstone universe action adventure game that follows actually a young aztec wor woman in her quest to become a hero by wielding the power of the gods i don't know much about that game we'll have to see when we'll, um it actually gets a release date i'll probably look more into it next we have chris tales nails i think it's Oh, maybe it's just called chris tales comes to ps5 ps4 july 20th Chris Tales is a gorgeous indie love letter to classic JRPGs with a new perspective. Peer into the past, act in the present, and watch as your choices dynamically change the future all on one screen as you play. What? Why would it be on more than one screen? When has it ever been on more than one screen? What are you talking about? Next up, Last Stop is the next game from the makers of Virginia coming to PS5, PS4. Last Stop is a single player third person adventure set in present day London where you play as three separate fictional characters whose worlds collide in the midst of a supernatural crisis. This one looked cool. It's another walking sim. I believe Virginia was really good. So I think this one has a lot of potential for the walking sims if you're into that. F1 2021 comes to PS5 and PS4 July 16th. Every story has a beginning. And F1 2021, the official video game of the 2021 FIA Formula One World Championship. Enjoy the stunning new features of F1 2021, including the thrilling story experience Breaking Point, two-player career, and get even closer to the grid with real season start. So just another racing game there. Sounds like this one is introducing a lot of stuff, a story and two player career. That sounds cool. Uh, Sakura Succubus comes for 22, uh, 2021. Uh, Sakura Succubus is a lewd visual novel about amassing a harem of sexy succubi, featuring a cute idol, a domineering businesswoman, and a spacey social media star. There's no shortage of woman to woo. So this is like a... This is a visual novel, a novel, a graphic novel that involves anime girls, if you're into that. MLB The Show 21 comes out 420. I think this game might already be out, so I don't know why it said it was coming out 420. Maybe there's like an early access version, but the game has changed. MLB The Show is landing on next-gen consoles. Now you can enjoy 4K and 60 frames per second gameplay and the all-new stadium creator. So I've never played MLB, uh, but I hear it's really good. And now it's on Xbox too, so I don't know if it's cross-play, but that's a good question that I just thought of. But I'm sure MLB The Show, I guess that's... I was going to say that's an exclusive, but I, it's not. It's weird, because Sony makes the game, obviously. Sony San Diego. Okay, next, Rise of the Slime, coming to PS5, PS4 this summer. 
Be the hero that no one saw coming. Help Slime defy the odds by playing insanely powerful cards in this charming, relaxing, and strategic deck building adventure. So I meant to look more into this one, but I forgot it's a card game, but it also looked like it was a platformer too. So this one definitely looks interesting, Rise of the Slime. If you're looking for something indie and you like card games, check that one out for sure. Summertime Madness is coming to PS5, PS4 this year. Prague, July 1945. An artist has made a deal with the devil and he is now trapped inside one of his canvases. He has to find the way back to the real world or his soul will be stuck forever in the painting. I don't know much about this one. This one was just announced over the weekend, so... Genshin Impact PS5 version coming April 28th adds 4K support. Step into Teva, a vast world teeming with life and flowing with the elemental energy. You and your sibling arrive here from another world separated by an unknown god, stripped of your powers and cast into a deep slumber. You now awake to a world very different from where you first arrived. So I know a lot of people like this game, so it's exciting that a PS5 version is coming out. I assume your save file will just be transferred over and you'll get that 4K support. So that's all the news I have uh, for this week now. It's only about five games, so... I'm going to read to you the five games, what they're about, that came out, and then uh, that's the end. We'll end it there. The first game is Enlisted. I already talked to you guys about this. This one's obviously free, as I mentioned. Enlisted is a squad-based first-person MMO shooter covering key battles from World War II. The game it carefully recreates weapons, military vehicles, and the atmosphere of that area while of that era while demonstrating really massive clashes of numerous soldiers tanks and aircraft with artillery and naval support so this sounded awesome to me i was like oh it's gonna be like battlefield it is not like battlefield but try it out yourself and let me know if you have a better experience with it maybe i just had a bad first match next up Guilty Gear Strive, a $60 game. The cutting-edge 2D-3D hybrid graphics pioneered in the Guilty Gear series have been raised to the next level in Guilty Gear Strive. The new artistic direction and improved character animations will, be go will go beyond anything you've seen before in a fighting game. So this is a fighting game. I've talked about this before on the podcast. This used to have a beta, but... Uh, the beta is probably over now. The game's out. Final Fantasy XIV, free to play. Take part in an epic and ever-changing Final Fantasy as you adventure and explore with friends from around the world. I played this before. It seems cool if you like MMOs. I'm not a fan of MMOs, so this one is not for me. But you can start free, and then I think you pay later. Kingdom of Arcadia, $5.99, which worries me. Does this mean we're going to see a increase in price for these little small indie games? Because I don't even know if they were worth $5 before. Will Sam find a way home after being sucked into his dad's arcade cabinet? It looks like a little uh, 2D platformer, retro style if you're into that, it looks like another one of the $5 games, and there's like 50 on PS5. So if you go in the store, you know what I'm talking about. And it looks like another one. The last one is Heal. Heal is an experimental adventure game from the creator of Distraint series, exploring the themes of aging and dementia. As I said last week, I that does not sound fun to me, but... Maybe if that sounds like something you're interested in, check it out. And I actually didn't get the price for a heel. I think it was around $10, but I'm not sure. I'm not positive. So that's the podcast. I used to do topics, but I haven't been doing them lately just because I don't have a guest star. And I feel like it is a little week for me to do a topic maybe i will in the future though let me know what you think but i hope you guys enjoyed the podcast remember to follow me on youtube at saint x elijah on twitch at twitch.tv slash saint x elijah yt on twitter and tiktok at saint x elijah 
and what was the last one and uh, join my discord for sure the discord link is on my youtube and my twitch and all that so definitely check that out and i hope you guys enjoyed this podcast if you did leave feedback i doubt any of these get any feedback i don't even know if anyone listens to any of these (laughs) but uh Hope you guys enjoy it. If you did listen, let me know and I will keep trying to improve. I really just write down all the news and then talk about the news and that's what this podcast is. So, you know, it is it is what it is and it is what it is. So I will see you guys next time until then this is dual sense gaming a ps5 podcast all about the playstation 5 goodbye everybody